So yeah, we're on um, video. And I have... Go ahead. You guys go ahead. You guys go ahead. Okay, so where are you on this round? Where, where, what week are we on the Very Low Calorie Protocol? Three. You're on week three. Mm -hmm. How's your hunger? It's good. Manageable. Um, are you weighing yourself every day? No. How often are you weighing yourself? I weighed myself once when I was down eight pounds and I have not weighed myself since then. I've just judged by my clothes. I want to wait till longer. How do you feel about how do you feel about letting go of that control? You know? You know what I mean by that? I feel good. That I mean at first I felt like I needed to weigh myself and now just hearing the good things that you know, my husband, kids, and coworkers say, and how my scrubs fit because I work in nursing, and how my clothes fit, and I'm wearing pants that I mm -hmm. can't, haven't fit in for over a year, and I feel good. I don't want to weigh myself. No, yeah, because you I know. Just, tell I me know. why. Tell me what you're. If you start weighing yourself, what do you feel would happen? I feel like I'm gonna watch it, and that that either it's gonna s slow my progress or emotionally. Emotionally. I don't want to be like my mother, <laughs> who weighs herself all the time, and if she's up a pound a day, you know, it could be bloating from your mm -hmm. time a month, it could be anything, so I just don't, I choose not to, and it feels good not to. Yeah, you, you are intellectually making a very smart decision, however, you know, emotionally, you're not, by letting go of weight, you are no longer trying to control the outcome, you're letting me body do its job and you're not meddling in its business if that makes any sense right you know with weighing too I'm you just know, trying to let it work let it roll that's what I'm yeah. doing it's a very healing thing and you should almost mm -hmm. feel like oh the pressure's off it is because of that um, um gotten to be a lot less it's it's not like it was at first mm -hmm. when I first started I was still emotionally in the mindset that's why I weighed myself and when mm -hmm. I saw I was down eight pounds I decided after that I didn't need to weigh myself anymore yeah that it's working <laughs> that's amazing isn't it yeah um, you know I think that a lot of times people uh, when you said it just isn't I've got my clothes I can tell the problem with weight is that too many times people emotionalize the number as if it's an indication of success or failure or, or a value of of yourself and I don't want to do that that's why I said it I could tell you're staying intellectual and less emotional about your body and and you can feel I mean you can feel it it's uh, it's a work in progress overall hunger is manager manageable how's your sleep better how's your energy a lot better can you now when you think about how much overall food you're eating can you even believe it I, I can't believe what I was eating before. Yeah, yeah but and compared to what I you're doing felt, now. I feel so good. And uh, I don't... I've learned the hunger scale that I didn't think that I would be able to do. Yeah. In I three weeks from that. now, do you see yourself having confidence going into the world, the real world, and using that hunger scale as a guide? Oh, yeah. I want to continue on with the same thing. I want to... This is my life-changing thing uh, mind and body so you can just feel it huh just it's liberating on so many levels when you let go of it yep you know and not only that but don't you have when you really look back at how you got to where you were it should make sense to you you know why and don't you feel on some level that you have a little more compassion for where you were yeah and I by didn't like myself and by accepting that frame of mind you can move forward yeah and you no longer feel bad about it no it feels really good that to me is like so that's an I awakening moment I wish there moment. was more available on the internet more information good information and positive information and things because this this is the best decision that I ever made for myself in a long long time and it's yours. It's not mine. It's my decision. It's yeah. not this clinic's because ultimately you're the one who's making the choice not to weigh, not to worry, to let go of control. It's yours. Yep. To yeah. follow protocol. And it's it's not even like I really have to follow it now. It's becoming habit. It's just the way I live. Mm -hmm. So. All right. Well, thanks for sharing.
because when I put this on YouTube, you are creating that positivity. That's good. That's almost hard to, you know, how do people deny when you hear so many people saying how amazing this is? And it's not about a number on the scale. I mean, honestly, to me, your honest to God opinion. Based on how you feel today physically, wouldn't you just be delighted if you could just hold on to that? No matter what the yeah. scale says. Yeah. I agree. I yes. totally agree. That's pretty profound in what we want everybody to say. If there's anything that you want to say to anybody watching this video who's thinking about doing the protocol, what would you what would you recommend? I would recommend to do it and do it for yourself. It it'd be life changing. I agree. I agree.